I'm black, but for some reason, it's like my accent makes people not think I'm black. <laughs> <laughs> I get different black privileges. It's pretty much the same experience. It's just people go, ah. Oh. What's going on? It's Trey, and we are back again for another edition of The Questionnaire Life. And today we have rapper, writer, Extraordinary. Extraordinary. Koji Radical. Jeez, it's really me. <laughs> this is going to be fun. All right, you ready to get into this? <sighs> yes. You prefer going to a pool, a beach, or? I can't swim. Cool. All right. I drowned once in a public pool, trying to walk from the shallow end to the deep end, and just, <laughs> just didn't make it. Right, we already got a good answer out of this shit. I was prepared for the questionnaire of life. Here to answer some deeper life questions. Blunts, bongs, or vapes? Papers and spliffs. I'm English. I'm the blunt thing and the bong thing. That's like real cheech and chong. It's like... It's I mean, I do the spliffs too when I'm Yeah, angry. spliff it up. Cashmere tears. Pick one of these three. Hmm? Pick one of these three. Flannel spit, silk piss, or burlap snot. <laughs> Piss. I don't, I, I, I piss silk anyway. That was almost what I called this shit. Nah, you're fucking around with me. I swear <laughs> to you I piss silk. I can piss you some silk right now, would you need a scarf? Just Gucci bags in your bladder at all times, like, yeah. <laughs> What's the worst part of gentrification? Displacement of the people who were already there, too many Starbucks, or the scary looking white people? It's like between a and C. Displacement of people is, it's, it sucks. When your neighborhood changes in a way that you, like, it feels unrecognizable, it starts to make you feel like you haven't really got a home. My plan with gentrification was to get rich and just be hella successful so I could stay in my area, but this time be the perfect mediator between the people them that was originally there and the new people them. And this ain't a three part, but just like, why does Jeremy Corbyn kick ass? I think it's the same reason why Bernie kicks ass. Man of the people, working class perspective, genuine speaks to people. You have good guys in, in every race, but they might not finish first. <laughs> Yo, Bernie Sanders, you yeah. bastards. So you're a fan of Thundercat. Yeah. Which of these albums is your favorite out of these three? Drunk, Apocalypse, or Dragon Ball Durag? Dragon Ball Do Rag. Purely because of that name is great. Yeah, it's ter <laughs> terrific name. Right. Yeah. You, you listen to Chopped and Screwed at all? Like I either look for Chopped and Screwed versions of songs that I like or lo-fi so versions of songs that I like. There's a kid called um, Zeus Makes Music that does fire lo-fi lo like remixes. I've probably something. heard his shit before. I just, probably, yeah. probably. My favorite one he done was, um, was Hot Nigger by Bobby Schmurder. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, I haven't. Free Bobby Schmurder. Free Bobby. Free Rowdy, yeah. Free Rowdy. Rowdy was my favorite. Yeah, yo, computers. Computers is still a classic. Right. Ah. I don't know if you ever got the chance to be in New York that summer, but it was like the same level as like when you would hear Welcome to the Party. Yeah, yeah, party. yeah, yeah. yeah R.I.P. Pop. Yeah. It's just like motherfuckers hanging out of windows. You should yeah. see that song in London. Trust me. You gotta just find a place to climb something and, yeah. <laughs> and hit that one real quick. Pop Smoke was just on a, he was on a meteoric rise, and I think he was gonna do a lot for bridging the gap between UK drill. Right, he was doing a very, very good job of that. Yeah. I think, I think that's the thing is like, even with a tragedy, you just got to find a way to kind of let the legend continue. All right, that's that one. <laughs> yeah, see y'all next time on Questionnaire Life. Listen to Koji Radical. Um, yeah, and cool. Peace. Barney, if and when you win, shout me. I ain't never been to the White House and Obama's gone and no Trump ain't bringing me. So Bernie, if, you, if you're watching this, kick it.